In Outlook 2016 and 2013, there are options for searching that you may not see in some of the older versions. And one of the options for searching that I like to use is the Advanced Find. And in 2016, it has even greater options. So what you want to do is go into the folder where you want to find something. Now, I'm going to be in our junk email folder because I don't care if anybody sees anybody in there. And we'll click on the box where it says the search option. And when you do that, you automatically bring up this new menu called search. And there's a lot of options here, such as if an email has attachments, uh, is it categorized a certain way, uh, where the email was sent to, was it this week, was it unread. And another option here under search tools is advanced find. So go ahead and click Advanced Find. And I know there's a bunch of people that sent me uh, spam by under the name of Mike. So we'll just go ahead and put in the name Mike. And we're going to say in the subject field only. And we can choose a from option if we want. Or we can choose a sent to option as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and put in the subject field the name Mike. Now, it's not necessarily sent from Mike, but it has Mike's name in it. So we'll go ahead and click Find. And there we go. We see that in the subject, we have some Mikes. Now, we can also further whittle down the choices by clicking on the More Choices option. And we can choose only items that are unread. For instance, we can choose only items with one or more attachments. So if they sent an attachment, we will find those. Now, we're not going to find any here, so we'll just uncheck that one. We'll also check the importance, and you can choose the normal, high, or low. So if they specified an importance, then we'll see that option. We can also check the box that says has a colored flag. So if the email was sent with a flag or you marked it with a flag, then you'll be able to see that. Uh, you can also choose the match case. So if there's upper or lower letters, you can match that in your search. You can choose a size. So if you're looking for an email with a specific size, such as someone sent you maybe an attachment with a one megabyte file that will really keep the uh, emails that don't include what you want out of your search. You can choose equals approximately the one megabyte. Uh, between one and two megabytes or whatever it is you want, less than or greater than one megabyte. So we'll just go ahead and choose greater than, and we'll choose one in this particular case. Or we can choose between, and you see both these options come up. Now these are measured in kilobytes, so we're probably going to want to add 1024 and 2048. All right, we can also choose a category, such as the blue, various different ones that come included. And if you have any types of third-party add-ins, such as Salesforce, you can see that as well. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and click Browse. And we also have an advanced option. And the advanced option comes with a lot of different options. And you can choose each one of those until you find the one that you want. You see hundreds and hundreds of options. So let's click on address field and we will click to. And then the conditions will be is or doesn't contain or words that start with. And we'll give a value of Mike. And we'll click add to the list. So you can have a lot of different items here. It doesn't have to be just one. So we, we had the, the word Mike, but we can go back in and add other fields such as from. Contains is exactly, and we can just put in Tom. Add to the list. So we can go through all these different things until we get exactly what we want, and then, then we can go ahead and click the Find Now, and it will just find the ones we want. So that way you don't have to search through hundreds or thousands of emails, depending on how much uh, email that you have in your system. So that is the advanced search options 
in Microsoft Outlook 2016 and 2013.